My friends, this is going to be a new love reading. I've seen a lot of comments wanting new love. So I thought I'd do a new love reading. And what I'm going to do is I want to see what spirit wants you to know about new love. Um, and we'll see what comes out. We'll see what's coming towards you, what you need to know. Um, what could be blocking new love maybe is what we'll look at. But I'm using this um, Psychic Tarot. It's actually an oracle book because it doesn't have all of the tarot cards in it. Um, but I felt called to, I felt called to get it for you today for new love. Um, this says, listen, high priestess energy, listen. Um, I am, I just started wearing um, a retainer. So if you hear a lisp now, that's why. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> kind of feels like you know, when you're in school and you go to get glasses and you have to come back to school and everybody has to see you in your glasses. <laughs> um, so we have listen. It's on, it's on page 33 and I feel called to read this to you. We also have what looks like the four of wands right underneath this. So very interesting. Because that shows, it says joy and stability on the Four of Wands card. So that shows that that's what's coming towards you. Um, let's see what this says. Take a moment to quiet your men mental chatter and listen. In relationships, it's important to pay attention to what the other person is really saying. Too often in conversations, you're already planning what you're going to say while the other person is still talking. You make assumptions about where the conversation is going and plan your part of the conversation accordingly even working the conversation to a desired outcome. When this happens, you truly don't hear what the other person said, and in doing so, you weren't present for that person. Listening starts with becoming quiet, centered, and totally present. Listening involves many senses. Use your eyes to see the body language of the other person. Use your ears to hear not only the words spoken, but also the tone used to express them. Use your intuition to get a sense of what the person is really saying and feeling. Intuition often helps you hear what is not said as well as what is said. This is crucial to understanding the person or situation. Understanding is essential to improving the relationship or situation. Remember once again to center yourself and use all of your senses to understand what is really being communicated. And the whole time, the whole time I'm reading this card... My guides are telling me this is about a secret admirer. Um, as soon as I said that, my heart started pounding. So it feels to me like this is someone you already talked to. This is someone you already have crossed paths with. I'm not saying that, you know, you know this person's favorite color or anything like that, but I feel like your paths have crossed. And I feel like there's been an energetic exchange between the two of you, a telepathic exchange even. Um, where the body language was, you know, maybe you were even feeling it, maybe you doubted it, you know, maybe you had some kind of interaction. What I'm hearing specifically is the movie Serendipity, where she's talking about how she met this person and it's made this lasting impression on her like five years later. And she even says to her friend, I'm going to go chase someone who I've only like had a fra like a moment, a fraction in time, like a drop in time with. Um, that's what it feels like. It feels like you've already had some type of interaction with this person that you felt something, but then maybe your mind was like, no, I was imagining that I'm too old for that person or I'm too young for that person or that person wouldn't look at me in that way or we work together or whatever. Um, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this energetically. This has been, you felt this. Um, so if that resonates, this is your reading. So let's see what's coming up in love for you. Let's see what you need to know about what's coming towards you. Right away, I'm seeing um, green eyes could be symbolic. We have success and growth win or lose and throat chakra so for some of you you could have um with th throat chakra i'm hearing communication so it's possible blah, blah, it's possible that you already did communicate with this person 
The other thing I'm seeing, this is an interesting one, is for some of you, this could be someone who uses their throat chakra to um, for their work or for their hobby or something. So that would, you know, them sharing their truth, expressing their truth, using their voice, using their throat um, is what I'm hearing. Anyway, that's what I was hearing. <laughs> But what I'm seeing is there could need, there might need, blah, blah, you might have a little bit of healing that you're still working on here. Um, let's look at success and growth. There's something here about getting out of your head. Um, so like overthinking. Um, let me just see this. This is beautiful. I feel like you're someone who's who has been healing. And this is coming in very quick. Um, we have eight of wands here. That's beautiful. So again, it could be that this person, something about their voice or they... Um, I feel like you've talked to this person in some capacity or heard their voice somehow. Um, anyway, we do have rapid movement and growth happening here with the Eight of Wands. Let's see what the card says. Accomplishment, speed, resolution, progress. The energy of the manifestation, the energy of manifestation is around you right now. So you've probably already, that's what I mean. I feel like the seed has already been planted. Um... You're being moved forward in a positive way. Stay focused on your heart. When this card appears, success, I'm still getting used to it. Success is at hand and it may happen quickly. Your past efforts are being rewarded. This is a time of new flourishing relationships and successful, re successful re resolutions to conflict and struggle. This is also an ideal period for greater understanding and personal growth. Listen expectantly for messages that will help you see yourself and others in a fresh and positive light. These messages can come from anywhere, your spirit guides, nature, books, or even a television program. So you may even start to hear, you know, you may even start to like turn on the television. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. Um, maybe you don't watch te television. Um, but you could be coming across this person's name um, in in like your everyday travels. Um, it's like the universe is going to start sending you signs and synchronicities about this person. So let's just say this is an Amazon driver. I don't know why I use that an example. But it feels to me like if this was an Amazon driver that you had an experience with. Again, I don't know why I'm using this experience. I think it's because somebody said once in my comment section like I'll I never leave my house so unless it's an Amazon delivery person <laughs> um anyway that's the example I'm going to use but you could start seeing people that look like that Amazon driver you could start seeing Amazon delivery trucks everywhere you could start getting ads for Amazon um do, do you get what I'm trying to say I'm not saying it's an Amazon delivery driver I'm saying <laughs> those are examples of signs and things anyway um, where were we? Um, they bring new beliefs about love and what is possible. So maybe you start singing or singing, hearing songs about secret admirers or hearing songs about like, um, you know, like Tom's Diner where the person is like watching everybody. Um, I'm serious. Messages in music. Old ways of thinking are coming to an end. Plant these new ideas as seeds and watch them take root and grow. So I do feel like there's something also here about you um, believing that you're worthy of this, believing that you're worthy of a secret admirer or attention, um, because I do feel like you've been healing. Um, we have the Five of Swords coming out, so there could still be a bit of self-sabotage here. Um, and I don't mean that you're doing that on purpose. I mean, energetically... Uh, maybe, you know, your thought pattern is, oh, I thought I felt energy with that person, but I'm just imagining things. And then your ego takes over. Um, that can be a way to self-sabotage this connection or this um, this person coming towards you. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to the next part. 
All right, so new love. Let's have a look. I know exactly what I want to get. Hang on. I felt really called to grab this deck, which is called Romance and Love Oracle Cards. And beautiful. Right away on the bottom, we have true love, a deep and enduring connection. So that goes beyond the superficial. So this connection is going to be deep. You know, there's going to be emotions here. Beautiful. So let's see what you need to hear about new love. We have sacrifice. Interesting. Love may come with sacrifices. Evaluate what you're willing to give up. So that is really interesting because for some of you that could point towards this person. Um, like maybe if you work with this person, maybe you're giving up your reputation. Um, I'm not saying that it would give you a bad reputation. I'm talking about like muggles having an opinion. Uh, maybe you have to, like, maybe this person will be the weird description or the weird thing that I'm hearing in my head is like, maybe you have a cat and this person is like really allergic to cats and can't have cats. Um, and I can already feel people like, I will never get rid of my cat. Pfft, yeah, I would never get rid of my cat for another person. Sorry. No, <laughs> no, thank you. They were here first. <laughs> Um, but, you know, there might be other sacrifices, like maybe you have different uh, schedules, maybe you have to alter your schedule at work so that you can spend time together. I also want to be like just full transparency, you shouldn't be the only one making sacrifices, it should be a compromise, I just felt the need to say that. Um, you don't have to be the one making all the sacrifices. You know, maybe to date you're going to have to give up a thought process that you're not good enough or that you'll never find love. We have window, beautiful, a new adventure in love is coming. Confirmation, new love, beautiful. Beautiful. I have to mention it because that's what I was hearing with the six of the six, the six of cups card that we had out. Um, but we have baggage here. So just be aware not to bring baggage from a past connection into this new one is what Spirit's saying. Like if you have resentment towards an ex, it's better to heal that now before getting into another relationship. Beautiful. Surprise. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. So this could come in very unexpectedly. You could meet very serendipitously. Attraction, you are attracting the right person at the right time. So you're whoever you're attracting and whoever this is, is matching your vibration. This isn't going to be someone in a lower vibrational energy. This is someone, you know, maybe you manifested about like manifested this person. Maybe you even wrote like intention letters about them. Wow, we have wedding. So this next one could result in a wedding. You could end up marrying this person. We have true love, confirmation, beautiful. Divine timing, trust in divine timing. Love arrives exactly as it's meant to. Um, interesting. This clock has confused me before. I'm not even going to go there. And we have gifts. Love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand one another. Um, interesting. Um, what I was seeing with that is, again, it could be something about, <clears throat> I kept seeing packages for some reason, so I'm not sure if you've seen this, like if you meet this person or see them at a wedding, or there is like some type of work situation, um, just keep that in mind. But anyway, um, what I was hearing, remember that sacrifices card and this gift card? Love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand one another. And what I was hearing with the sacrifices card, again, I have to say it because I'm hearing it, is this could be someone who, don't know why I'm hearing this, doesn't have the financial means to really spoil you right now, is what I'm hearing right now. Um, I'm also hearing don't judge a book by its cover. The reason I'm saying that too is because I keep seeing someone in the, in like, someone, a secret admirer that has seen you. And that's why I keep getting it's like a worker of some type, like a waiter or 
Anyway, so it might be that remember yet that they don't have the financial means to like give you material gifts, but spirit saying love is the gift here. Um, not that you would care. I'm not saying that you would care, but yeah, that's what we're having or that's what we're seeing. And now I'm just going to get a few tarot cards about this person because for some of you, I feel like you already know who they are. What do I want to get? I want to get these ones. We have Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. New beginning, fresh start, new chapter. New beginning, one that'll grow into something very stable, perhaps even a wedding. Remember, Ace of Pentacles could be work-related, you know? We have the Knight of Cups, so this person could be younger than you. Um, they could be some type of messenger, because um, we have the Knight of Cups here. But this is someone who does have feelings for you. And this could be someone who has a hard time being vulnerable about those feelings right now. Maybe that's why they're in this secret admirer energy. Very romantic. Very romantic. So let me see who this new love is. Wheel of Fortune, divinely. Wheel of Fortune spat out right on top of uh, divine timing, which is interesting. So this is something that, you know, this is someone who has been through a lot in their life, has maybe made some changes. Um, I'm even hearing like healed old cycles, which I like. And it's coming in divine timing. We do have the 10 of wands. Um, so it feels like you're going to be able to... I feel like this is about to happen if it hasn't already, like you're about to put these burdens down. I also, there's that energy of three of pentacles on the bottom, so it could be work-related. But there is this energy with this card of not bringing that baggage in. Remember, I keep getting this energy of unhealed something. So Spirit's reminding you, you still have time to put these burdens down before you bring that into this relationship is what I'm hearing. Let's get a few more about who this is. I can't even just... I just <laughs> Do you know that I can count on one hand the amount of times that those cards have come out together? I feel like I've only ever, ex like in the same, together. I think I've only experienced that one or two times. Have they come out in the same reading? Yes. Not like that. Um, listen, we've got the five of cups in reverse here. So there's something here about letting go of old wounds and healing old wounds before you enter into this soul contract with this person. Power couple vibes. Oh my gosh. Match. You're, you are each other's match here. Emperor and Empress. Oh my gosh. Um, that energy where you're attracting in someone who's a match for you. You marrying this person i feel like you and this person could build an empire together i'm a little shooketh <laughs> um seriously for some of you this could be some type of boss or you know maybe for some of you this person is older um but what i'm seeing is more of a vibrational match for you someone who you're going to build an empire with perhaps even you know have a family um, combined families. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles, but this is your match. Empress, Emperor, oh my gosh. This is new love reading, remember. Anyway, the five of, we have, you'll have instant soul spark with this person, instant soul spark. You'll feel it. That's what I meant. You probably felt it, and then you were like, nah, I'm just imagining things. There's no way that person would look at me. Um, five of cups in reverse. So this comes in, it's like gifted from the universe. Once both of you have healed from those past wounds. Um, amazing. Let's see how this person feels about you. How do they feel about you? This person <laughs> is sneaky, <laughs> not in a bad way. <laughs> Not in a bad way, um, but this person, queen of stars in this deck is pentacles. So this person sees you, you could be, for some of you, you could be a mother or a parent. 
Um, You could be their boss even, but this is someone who feels like your marriage material. They feel like for some of you, there's this energy where maybe they worry that they can't give you everything you need right now, like I was talking about, because the Queen of Pentacles doesn't really need anyone. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't need a partner. The Queen of Pentacles takes care of themselves. Um, but the reason I said your person is sneaky um, is because we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse here. So it's like, this is how they're, how they're feeling. They want to come clean. They want to like come out into the open and tell you how they feel. That they feel, you know, they feel drawn to your energy. Um, they feel like you would... Like, there's marriage energy in this reading, and I don't mean that either of you are married. Um, if you're married and you're watching a new love reading, <laughs> maybe not your reading. Um, but this is someone, Seven of Swords in reverse. They've been watching you. They know who you are. They just haven't said anything. And they want to. Let's see what they'll do. What are they going to do? We have the three of cups. We have judgment. You deserve more than a chapter. You deserve to be a book they can't stop reading. That was your affirmation. You deserve to be more than a chapter. You deserve to be a book that they can't stop reading. You're a real page turner. You're someone they can't put down. Anyway, their intentions... <laughs> Oh, this is sweet. They're going to communicate with you in a social way. They're going to be like, hey, how are you? What's your favorite color? <laughs> like seriously, three of cups. It's like that friendly. <laughs> this is their intentions is to communicate with you in a friendly way. Um, they may come across as even a little cold, but I think it's because they're nervous. But that's what I mean. They're going to be like, hey. What kind of stuff do you like? Do you like food? <laughs> I like food. Maybe we should go eat food, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hopefully this person is a better communicator than I am. Um, but yeah, their intentions are to... I see friendship turning to romance. Interesting. So you could already be friends with this person. That's what I mean. You could already be friendly with them. You could already have had a social exchange with them. Um, let's see what the future of this connection will be like. Let's see how you'll feel when you're with this person. How will you feel when you're with this person? Ace of Cups. This. I was wondering why that card came out. I was so confused for a minute. I was like, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but when that card came out, I said nothing. And then I was like, oh, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Um, because this is an interesting card because this is a card about mirroring. It's a card about like triggering shadows and things like that. That's why I was like, I don't, I know the emperor and the empress came out, but I wasn't getting like that this is your counterpart and you're about to start your counterpart journey and start like reflecting and have separation and all of that. Um, maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, which is good <laughs> for you. I mean, if you're looking for new love, um, but I was wondering why it came out, and now I see. Because I feel like maybe you're someone who was on the counterpart journey. Maybe that's why I was saying that. I feel like you're someone who's already been reflecting on your shadows. And you're going to feel, I'm hearing reborn with this person. Um, again, I was wondering, like, why this card? And then on the back of the card, we have the card that comes right after it. So it feels like when you're in this connection, you truly do feel renewed. You feel like emotional awakening, um, feelings you've never felt before, emotions you've never felt before. And it feels like you transition into this new beginning. Um, this is like awakening energy or like breakthrough energy. So it does feel like after you meet this person and after, you know, emotions are spoken about, that you truly feel renewed. Um, it's beautiful. New love, Ace of Cups, beautiful. And like maybe like you can leave the past behind if that's what you're wanting. Um, again, if you're still, I always say this, if you're still energetically holding on to someone in the past, that will always create blockages for the new coming in. Um, 
At least that's what I've come to believe or that's what I've learned. Anyway, I'm sending you guys, that's your reading. Is that your reading or do I want, no, Spirit said one more. We have optimism here. So being optimistic, there's a message about keeping positivity or keeping positive about this. New love, let's see. Interesting. For some of you, you could be... Um, for some of you, you could have let go of a twin flame connection, if I'm being honest. I just had twin flame come out in reverse. And I'm seeing a transformation. And the queen of wands here. So for some of you, I do feel like perhaps you are someone who's released a karmic connection or it could be a karmic or a twin flame. Take it as it resonates, however it resonates for you. Um, and you, now you're transforming, you're going through a glow up and you're calling in someone that's your vibrational match. Um, we have key new beginning, solution, progress, self-exploration, self-knowledge. Um, I feel like this is very symbolic. Maybe your person rides a bike. Sign. Um, this says spiritual connection too. So this is someone you're going to have a spiritual connection with. Ace of Wands, Soul Spark Energy. Um, but like I said, I feel like for some of you, you had to heal from a karmic situation or for some of you, I could see this being someone who was in a counterpart connection and maybe you've released or surrendered that. Um, and this is new coming in. Um, and when I say you've surrendered it, you know, you know, you've surrendered it. Like you, you want new, you're manifesting new, you've released your counterpart. Um, that's not going to resonate for everybody, though, so don't take that if it's not yours. And if you're in a counterpart connection, don't take this as a confirmation that you should. Like, if you're here confused about your counterpart, don't take this as confirmation that you should let go of your counterpart necessarily. I'm that I'm channeling, like, a collective that's, like, I've, I've, I'm hearing given up the counterpart journey. Like, I've had enough. Send me a soulmate. That's what I'm hearing. You would know if that's you. So don't take that if it's not yours. Um, we have written communication messages. This person could give you a note. Like if you work together, they could give you a note, send you an email. Um, it's less it's it's less confrontational, I'm hearing. Um, written communication, messages, news, document, confirmation brings change. So this person will communicate these feelings with you. Um, let's just get one more. We have... Yeah, don't worry about this. Please don't worry about this. Look, endings bring new beginnings. So I do feel like a chapter had to close so that you could be the book that this person doesn't put down. I feel like in the past you had someone who treated you, you were like a chapter that they could just return to anytime they wanted is what I'm hearing. Like, you know, when, you know, a neurodivergent person tries to read a book and they read the first chapter and then they're kind of like, I'll return to that later. Be the book they can't put down. Anyway, and we have worry here and work. So it could be that you work with this person and then there's like conflict there. But um, anyway, release those worries. Um, try and surrender. Try and trust in divine timing. Know your worth is all I'm hearing. Um, you're worthy of affection and to have a secret admirer. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you lots of love and light and I will talk to you soon.